Hello again and welcome to another mini awesome cast. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter at AwesomeCast where you can find the show on there as well. And uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit more. I know we talked about it on the show yesterday, but I just still have some thoughts. I want to kind of do a wrap up on this. Uh, the Pebble Time was announced. I got one. I got one blighted. Traded the Google Glass for it. I know. Crazy, right? It wasn't just straight up for the watch. There's a little bit more to the deal. Uh, just don't scare. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Uh, but the new Pebble watches were announced. It's the Pebble time it's a color screen it's still e-ink it's still going to be amazing they have this wonderful new interface a lot of stuff involved with fitness tracking uh on the watch uh let's say a new a new modus to to get through uh that operating system um a, a whole lot of new stuff it looks slick there's a lot of animation on this thing um and real smooth new design kind of this bezel kind of thing going on there's a microphone on it um and they've already have 40,000 backers over $8 million pledged. They don't even need a pledge. They had the $500,000 goal. They're basically using Kickstarter as a pre-order system going back to the beginning. And then they were saying on daily tech news show I was listening to today uh, about if you were one of the original backers on Kickstarter, uh, somehow I think they're connecting those up uh, with the, with the, uh, you know, with with the user accounts on there, and you'll get a special engraving when you get yours this time. Giving you a deal, it's going to be a two hundred dollar watch. Uh, the, the all gone, the first uh, ten thousand people already in there uh, got a hundred and sixty dollar versions, and there's only about four thousand left of the hundred and eighty dollar version. Um, it looks like so. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty, it's pretty tremendous. Um, it, it's. You know, this is an interesting timing. Of course, this is uh, right on the verge of uh, Apple Watch being announced, or not announced, but officially put out there. Uh, you know, uh, likely within the next month or so. Uh, and uh, they did; they definitely needed an upgrade. And no, this is not as spiffy. This is not as crazy as your Apple Watch. It's not going to be. Uh, we talked about how it's going to be a little, little plasticky in comparison to what happened. Uh, you know, uh, you know. You know, versus the the stylishness that's happening with the Apple Watch, or maybe even what's happening with some of the uh, two hundred two hundred fifty dollar uh, Apple Wear watches, right? But if you're already in that Pebble ecosystem and it's something smaller, a little different, and uh, it, it, it makes sense, and and it's not as costly. I just feel, you know, it, it feels like it makes a little bit more sense um, than dropping a 200 or 350 dollars on on a watch right now i think worth the way things are because i think we're still trying to figure out what exactly do these things do where do these things fit in our lives there's so many people that that uh you know some cast i'm listening to and it's like well you know if it's going to be like the first one i'm going to wear for a little bit and put in a drawer you know it doesn't become part of your daily life like it has me you know with this one since since having it uh since uh geez before christmas i guess this year um you know does it make sense so uh, I think this is going to be a runaway hit. I think it's going to be great competition and it's going to keep that momentum that Pebble has already had as the first one in the door as the stupidly simple solution here in comparison to what some of the other watches are, are doing. Um, great upgrades. They're not too far ahead of their time. Yes, they're catching up with some of the stuff that came out with Android, um, but they're not getting too crazy. Still still calling for the seven days. Uh, fabulous looking e-ink e display if it looks anything like it does in these videos uh, in person. And considering how well the first one looks, I, I don't think it's going to be a problem at all. So let me know, what do you think of Pebble Time? Or are you just not into the smartwatch revolution just yet? Let us know on YouTube. And at AwesomeCast on the Twitter, I'm at Sorgatron. Check out the new show. This week we had the guys from Who You Inc., a great alpha lag company here in Pittsburgh, revolutionizing the way you network at events with their app. Currently, currently coming out in beta. Uh, so uh, keep an eye out for that and opportunities to use it in person, especially if you're in the Pittsburgh area doing some networking events. They're going to be rolling it out for special occasions. Uh, and you can follow their prog progress as well. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.